my name's Chas. Today we're going to look at a basic staff spinning move called the figure of eight. We're just going to look at forwards figure of eights in this tutorial. Um, there will be another tutorial on reverse figure of eights that I will put a link up to. Um, so if you're not familiar with the terms forwards and reverse, uh, most staff moves, in fact all of them, can be done in two directions, forwards or reverse. With a figure of eight, the way to remember it is with a forwards figure of eight, we're going to be leading with the end of the staff that is on the nearest to your thumb. With a reverse it would be opposite, be the other end of the staff that's nearest to your little finger. Now we're going to look at the figure of eight in both wheel and wall plane. Wheel plane is where the staff spins at your side where you might have wheels on a car if you are travelling forwards. Or you can think of it as being in a canoe and if I was paddling with my staff this direction in forwards I'd be propelling myself forwards. Wall plane is when the staff spins in front or behind of you in a flat plane here, just like you were stood facing a wall square onto your shoulders. We're going to start with a wheel plane figure of eight. So, start off holding the staff in the center. I'm using my right hand, but whichever hand you want to use, we're going to use both, so it doesn't matter. Focus on the end in front of you. Again, as I just mentioned, this is the end closest to your thumb. First move we're going to do is this end of the staff is going to rotate downwards, but it, as it rotates down, it's also going to cross your body. So your hand is going to end up on the other side of your body. I'm using my right hand, and now it's on the left hand side of my body. So once more from this angle, staff moves down and across your body to here. From this position, we're going to maintain the staff's momentum. It's going to continue. Again, the thumb end is going to rotate upwards, back down, and as it gets to this horizontal position here, with your palm up, you're going to start to bring the staff across your body again. Follow the momentum round, and we're back to the start position. So from this angle, the staff moves down onto the opposite side of your body, continues to rotate, comes through vertical, back to horizontal here, so the palms up, and as it's coming to horizontal, you start to move the staff back to the original side of your body, come through vertical, back down to here. It's called a figure of eight because obviously you're making a kind of figure of eight motion. If you're having trouble with this, try doing an exaggerated arm motion without the staff. So I'm drawing one big circle on this side of me and another big circle on the other side of me. Like so. Now to do the same move in a wall plane. So for this one, I like to start the staff pointing out to the side. Again, I'm in my right hand, but we're gonna practice both sides anyway, so it doesn't matter which you choose to start off with. Still focusing on the thumb end of the staff, so the one that's furthest away from you over here. The staff's going to swing downwards and come in front of your body. It's then going to do a circle in front of you, past vertical, and as it comes down towards horizontal, you're going to channel this end behind you, draw another circle behind you, and we're back to the start position again. So down, circle in front, through vertical, bring the staff behind you, and we're back to the start position. Okay, one common mistake with a lot of figure of eights is that people try to move too quickly. So from here, we want to make sure that the thumb end comes down and draws a circle and then trailing it, the little finger end. And again, as we come this side, the thumb end draws a circle, but the little finger end also comes behind you. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. 
don't forget to practice in your other hand as well, both in wall plane and in wheel plane. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. You can find uh, a tutorial on the reverse figure of eight just over here. Don't forget to subscribe. You can find more basic spinning tutorials on my channel, contact staff tutorials, and some acro staff tutorials as well. Thanks very much. Bye.